Want to know the net worth of an average 25-year-old? Chance the Rapper's net worth is $33 million. He's 25 years old. Ariana Grande is also 25, and she's worth $50 million. Dango. The average net worth of a non-celebrity 25-year-old? Take a deep breath. Negative $23,704. Yep, negative. Well, remember that your net worth is the money you have in the bank, plus whatever debt you owe. And in today's society, we're likely to start stacking that debt before we're even old enough to drink a beer. You're encouraged to go to a four-year liberal arts college. Spend. You'll get paid more in the future if you get your master's. Spend. And as my character Mariana said, these are all needs. Of course, nobody expects young people to pay for this stuff with their own money. That's where lenders step in. Can't afford a degree? Get a student loan. Grad school too expensive? Get another loan. Life in the big city outside your budget? Get a credit card. We're taught to believe that credit cards and loans are a natural part of adulthood. But without responsible financial planning, they can cause just as much harm as good. Getting the tools you need to spend money is easy. Too easy as Mariana learns the hard way in good trouble. You know what I need? What, sweetheart? $20,000. <laughs> but when it comes to getting the tools you need to become financially literate? Crickets. Which is why two-thirds of American adults can't pass a basic financial literacy test. Ugh, millennials. If only we could turn confidence into cash. So what happens when we send young people out into an increasingly complex financial environment without a roadmap? First, many rack up a ton of student loans getting that four-year degree. And then, because they're so broke, they start paying for everything with credit cards, which means, you guessed it, more debt. In fact, credit cards are the biggest source of debt for older millennials, making up almost 25% of the $42,000 they owe. And once millennials get themselves into debt, they're turning to riskier alternatives to get out, like payday loans. A payday loan is money you borrow at extremely high interest rates, with the promise to pay it back when you get your next paycheck. But what usually happens is you have trouble paying that off too, meaning you have to take out another loan and fall into a loan spiral you cannot get out of. Heed Mama Steph's advice. I miss that, getting yourself in debt. That is, that is, that is not good, that is bad, all bad. Mm -hmm. With almost every adult having to deal with some form of loan, credit, or debt, it's mind-boggling that most states don't even require financial literacy classes in high school. But they do make you learn the periodic table of elements. Do you know what I do every year? My taxes. Do you know what I do not do every year? Chemistry. So what's the solution? Well, for starters, we need to advocate for financial literacy classes at every level of education so that when young people set out on their own, they stand half a chance of avoiding debt and desperation. But beyond that, we all need to get more comfortable talking about money. Because getting real with each other about our financial situation is one of the proven ways to make it better. And once you actually determine what your financial goals are, you can figure out the best way to meet them. Maybe it's cash budgeting. That's where you figure out how much money you can actually afford to spend after you handle your major expenses like rent and utilities. Then, you set the rest aside in cash for spending or saving. That way, you don't swipe your savings away. Or maybe it's something more advanced, like zero-sum budgeting. That's when you assign every single dollar you make a specific job, whether it's paying next month's bills or saving for retirement. No matter what you choose, you can't learn to budget for your future until you understand your financial present. At the end of the day, we've got to be our own saviors. Tune out all the noise telling us to spend, spend, spend. We can't rack up debt and wait for the day we meet someone who will rescue us from our financial crisis. If they're a millennial, chances are they're in debt too. Share this video if you want to be in control of your financial future.